Family is outraged over a social media post supposedly shared by an assistant principal at Cimarron High School. It states that those who are unmasked or unvaccinated should perish. Kate Houston live in the newsroom tonight with why one parent is taking this personally, Kate. Yes, well, this is the social media post in question, and it is directed at those who are unvaccinated. And at one point in part, it says that if you are not taking proactive measures, we hope you catch it and die quickly. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. One father tells me that a student at Cimarron High School, his daughter saw that post as he's battling COVID-19 in the hospital. I'm stuck. I can't do anything. I'm a big guy and I can't even get out of bed without help. Vincent Justina tested positive for COVID-19 on Saturday and is now battling bilateral pneumonia. His daughter, a Cimarron High School student, as well as his stepson, also positive. And they're worried to sick and it's just, it's a sad situation. Justina and his daughter are not vaccinated. He says she sent him the post after the school was notified of her positive case. But I think it's absolutely unprofessional. My daughter's at home worried about her daddy and she's going to put that out on social media. On Wednesday, an email was sent to Cimarron Memorial High School families. It states in part, the district is aware of a social media post made by a staff member and is working to address the situation. Justina says there needs to be more consequences. The school obviously needs to do some sort of apologizing, not just a little email like, oh, I'm sorry she said this, we dealt with it. No, I need to see it through to the end. Justina says he took the post personally due to the timing and his vaccination status. He's now heard from both sides on whether or not to get the vaccine, and he doesn't wish this on anyone. And if you would have asked me that two weeks ago, I would have said absolutely not. It's my body. It's my choice. It's just because of all the pain and everything and the drugs and everything they're pumping into me. And it's just it's not comfortable. I would do anything right now to not have to go through this. Well, hundreds of people are now expressing their outrage through a change.org petition calling for the assistant principal to be terminated. Now, I did reach out to the Clark County School District for answers, both by calling them, emailing them, and asking about the employment status of that assistant principal. I am awaiting answers on that. Reporting live, Kate Houston, 8 News Now.